Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial and today's review is Gold Brick, a Netflix original. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, let's get into it. So let's go over this cast. You got um, Raphael Quinard as plays as Daniel. Igor Goldspin plays as Scania. Antoine Gold plays as Patrick Brule. Agathy Rasul plays a Regini. And that's the main characters of the film. So who doesn't like a good heist film, a rags the riches type story? And that's exactly what this movie is. Um, so, you know, most of us that watch a lot of film, anytime there's some type of heist where the people that are struggling figure out a way to take from the rich that's been getting over for years, it's intriguing to watch. So this is what this movie is about so what you have is in this small um, town this brew family has been on uh, ruling the town for decades and it's been passed down from generation to generation and they do perfume so you have Daniel who's the main um, character who his dad passed away when he was young working for the Brules. Along with his friend Scania, um, there his father worked for the Brules as well. So Daniel had an uncle who kind of stepped in and like um, became a father figure to him once his dad passed away. Daniel and Scania pretty much vowed to themselves that when they got older, they would never work for the Brules. So they got older and created a delivery company that end up failing their main distributor that who they were delivering from was the Brules. The Brules cut the contract and that pretty much put them out of business. Scania could drive trucks so he instantly got a um, job with Brule Company and then he talked to the people to get Daniel on just so he could have a job. So Daniel became a warehouse worker in the process of becoming a warehouse worker. He was um, he had a supervisor that was um a a hole so he just scoped the landscape of everything and so what happened was the dad of the brules passed away and the son was taken over when he passed away the company came out and gave uh a courtesy uh, everybody a courtesy cologne or perfume or whatever so daniel went online and it sold quick so that kind of triggered him. So he found, I think he found a um, a bottle in the trash or something. He sold that. So that triggered him. I could start, if I could steal these bottles, I could start making some money. So he put his boy on. His boy wasn't with it at first, but Scania ended up getting down. And in a couple of months, they made $10,000. So that triggered him like we could go bigger. So that was the part of the heist. Now, one of the times he was splurging in the club he ran into um virginia not knowing that she's going to become the general manager of the brew plant but he pushed up on her she pretty much um didn't accept his advances and that was that so as his organization brew um grew he was just skimming a little bit now from there she was doing the uh, data, data uh, analytics and did an audit and pretty much told the Sun Brew, hey, listen, man, um, your company is losing one point eagle, um, not um, eagle, Patrick, Patrick Brew. He pre she pretty much told him like, hey, your your uh, your company's losing about one point seven percent which totals to about 2.7 mil a year. And that's gone unaccounted for. Basically, the um, other heads in the company were saying, yeah, but we're bringing in 200 million. So that small margin is nothing. We, we can't worry about that. So she got disgusted. And Patrick pretty much like brushed her off. So that triggered her to call Daniel up for a date. Even though he uh, 
she wouldn't holler at him at first. So when he she called him up for a date, they went out. She was already intoxicated, and he just went for it. He pretty much said, you know, did you want to get back at Bru? And she was like, how? And he told her the whole story, and she was with it. So they was like, all right, we got to build a team. We need a team of 10. They had a good team, and then business was going good. Everybody's making money. Everybody get paid on Friday. But then, of course, what comes with money comes greed. People start getting sloppy. And then Bro wanted to sell his company. Now, when he wanted to sell his company, his wife told him he should sell it because she knew he wasn't really um, good to take over the company. She intrigued him to sell a company to a competitor. When she did that, Come to find out that the guy that she wanted him to sell to knew that he was losing money. So he put in a, a PI into Bruce's company so he could get concrete information that there's missing products and everything. So the guy that was getting sloppy on uh, Daniel's team, they got him out of here, put the new guy in. They just met him. He told them he was an ex-con. They just put him on the team. So that was... A flag right there and so as they grew he was getting information but now he pinned his play in pretty much telling them listen I can um I want to uh, change the state so he went to um, Bryce his name was Bryce no Garolas so he went to him pretty much telling him hey I got more information I want half the money up front half the money later so Nogolas pretty much told him hey I don't need you no more our business is done. So he put a track on and followed him, took pictures of Negrola's having sex with Patrick Brule's wife. That's how that found. So then it all start coming together and then twists and turns and you figure out that Patrick Brule and Daniel, they used to go to school together back when they were kids. And you find out at the end, they actually, one of the scenes you see Daniel get a phone call at night. And you think it's somebody else, but it really was Patrick. Patrick was telling him he knows everything. And they put an insurance claim, a fake insurance claim. Once Nagarius takes over the company, it'll be found that he was giving out product with water in um, the perfume bottles instead of real perfume because they switched out the um, packages. And his company will go under. Meanwhile, Patrick Brew, uh, his family had went again but he rides off in the sunset with his money and then what happened is all the money that Daniel made he then come back buy out the company and start his own company so uh, it ended up being a good story um, good movie to watch on Netflix you see cash on here but it's actually gold brick on Netflix the um, out of my four star rating system I'm going to give this movie a 2.5 out of four star Dif uh, decent movie to watch, especially if you like heist um, type movies. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Till next time.